Hey guys. Um, I know my desk's dirty. I know I did uh, talk about this during my last live stream on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash deceptive cobras. Links will be in the video description down below. And I talked about um, basic PC maintenance and the levels that I go to when um, doing uh, reviews for hardware, keyboards, mice, etc. And one of you guys in the chat, I can't remember his name, and I do apologize, uh, asked me about uh, the different types of uh, plastics that are used. And one guy asked me how I also clean my fans. Now, I will discuss the plastics issue in a separate video. In this video, I'm going to explain to you about part of the basic maintenance that every PC user uh, every Mac user, um, every uh, console user, e e basically any user that has uh, uh, any hardware that requires uh, uh, a spinning fan to cool down hardware. For example, uh, the Xbox 360, I've got one down here, uh, has a fan in here. This does need maintenance. Um, unfortunately, the, f the stock fan that came out the first generation uh, 360 slims uh, was unserviceable and I'll explain what an unserviceable fan is here in a second now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using like um, basically these tweezers to explain it so you can understand and pretty much what this is this is just a straightforward uh, cooler master uh, fan that I pulled off of an air cooler um, I also use it as a redneck, little redneck AC. I have it up on my little shelf here. And it blows cold air directly on my face during the summer when I'm gaming and when I'm live streaming. And most importantly, I want to explain to you um, the things that I do to keep my fans running. Now, there are two types of fans out there on the market, regardless of what sleeves they are, what, what static or whatever. It's not about that. It's about the maintenance side here. This fan is designed for maintenance. How you can tell that is when you remove the rear foil sticker. Now, I've lost the re original sticker on this fan years ago. I've had this fan going on probably about seven years, eight years now, way past its average servers life. And what's made it last longer than most is the fact that I keep servicing it. Now, in order to service a, a fan, um, when you peel back the little foil stick sticker, not on the front, not on the hub, but on the back, you're going to be met with either a plastic or a rubber plug right here. What you can do is um, you can get a pair of tweezers and you can remove the plug. Now, I, I've since, uh, uh, this was a plastic plug on this one, and removing it meant I had to uh, drill two little pins out with a Dremel and it destroyed the plug so that, that's fine it does happen but you can go to your local hardware stores and actually get replacement rubber plugs um here in utah there's a, a store called bookcliffs and uh, they sell a whole bunch of random weird stuff going in there's like going back in time i should really go in there and show you and um I, i've actually ordered a whole bunch of rear plugs from them and so but for now you can just use regular uh uh, packing tape stuff like that as long as the adhesion property is quite large now what i do is i remove the rear plug then there's a little c-clip if you're if you're a car guy you'll know what a c-clip is a c-clip is what holds your rear axles in in your rear rear uh, um, axle of your car well you remove those c-clips again using a pair of pliers uh, needle nose pliers and you put that c-clip away safely because if you lose that c-clip you're buggered well I took the C-clip out and replaced it with a clipless design of my own. So I just push in to hear a pop and out comes the hub. Okay. And that is your fan hub. This is just regular dirt inside the magnetic clutch. Basically the magnetic clutch is it's a, a one polar magnet. Electricity is ran through each pole, which forces the magnet to either spin, uh, push or be pulled, which causes the fan to spin. That's your RPMs. It's the, 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 uh, pulse rate of each magnetic pole pushing the magnet which in turn turns the fan um, it's simple you can actually uh, with a little bit of know-how turn these into alternators where you spin it and it'll actually generate electricity um, so yeah but anyway now you've got the the hub free of the main chassis what I tend to do 
is I tend to go sh looking at the hub first by putting the, the chassis away. Now, what you're going to need when it comes to doing this is you're going to need uh, all-purpose machine oil. You can get this at Walmart. You can get this anywhere. You can even get this online. Uh, it's all-purpose because it's designed. It, it's not a cutting grease, which means it's not meant to cut. It's just a regular uh, lubricant. You're going to need some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Uh, I use 91%. You can use stronger or weaker. It doesn't matter. And you're going to need uh, either uh, wipes or you're going to need paper towel. Um, now. This paper towel I've, I've used previously in a different video, but basically what you're going to do now is you're going to take your hub spindle, the actual metal spindle, push it through the paper towel as you can see here, right here, and then we're just going to pack it in as much as we can and then we're going to turn. What we're doing is we're removing the axle shaft grease. Yes, I know, I said shaft and axle and grease. Get it out of the way now. And basically, you're going to end up with a dry system like this. And at the same time, you may need to want to get some pipe cleaners or some uh, Q-tips to get rid of the bearing grease inside. Now, because this is a, 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 a design I've come up with, with the whole push clip system, um, basically, as long as there's no pressure being put... Let me... See, now that's... <clears throat> You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of force required to get it out now. Basically, as long as there's no external force being pressed onto the fan, which there isn't while it's spinning, this will stay in. Do you see? It will stay in without the C-clip. That's how it's designed. Um, it's something of my own design, and no, I won't, won't go into it anymore because I'm actually in the middle of copywriting it. Um, uh, patent pending, sorry. And so... Uh, yeah, now what we do is we take our, our wipes. These are just general all purpose wipes you can get at a dollar store. And you do your basic maintenance thing, which is you clean your inner hub. Um, you go around the sides. Be careful not to break the support arms, because once you've broken the support arms, they are a bitch to fix. Uh, you're going to be going through epoxy, you're going to be going through. Uh, resins you're going to be going through a whole bunch of different things ask me how i know go ahead ask me ask me ask me how i know because this one broke prior to filming yeah see let me zoom out a little that's in zoom out this one broke prior to filming so i've actually got to uh, uh fix this fan so <laughs> that's how i know and you want to clean the the excess tape and glue in order to cut through some dirt and grease, so you got to understand a fan, okay, will the dirt on the fan is actually made up of your own skin, your own hair, your own everything. So this is what most people don't seem to understand. Dust itself is actually dead human skin. So the fact that it's now caked on all over your fan blades, um, yeah. So basically, you've got to use something that's going to cut through the grease. See, most people don't seem to understand this, but human bodies, uh, even in dust, produce grease. This is how dust sticks to stuff. Uh, it's the grease that your skin extrudes naturally. Uh, wax, grease, etc., etc. Which is why if you ever work in a body shop, they'll tell you, do not touch a car that you've stripped with your bare hands because the wax and grease that naturally is produced by your skin, the oils, will actually cause uh, rust on cars. Well, same can be applied when it comes to other uh, things with your fingers. So you're sitting there, you're playing, if you smoke you are going to be causing more grief than anything else because tar, uh, nicotine tar will actually attach to it, adhere itself to the, the cheaper made fans because of the way the, the PLA plastic is made. Um, so it chemically bonds to the fans so no amount of stripping, you'll end up having to bleach the, the case you'll have to pull the ma uh, um, main spindle out pull the fan out and actually soak them in bleach and then even doing that there's a high chance you're going to permanently chemically damage the, the plastic which means the fan is no good so if you do smoke cigarettes don't smoke them around your computers um, do what I do and vape because um, all you're breathing out is moisture uh, there's no there's no secondhand smoke there's zero secondhand smoke 
uh, period. And that's going through almost a 20 year study. So trust me. Um, I vape, my wife vapes, um, majority of my friends vape, and my wife is the one who converted us all to the Church of Vape. And uh, so yeah, and basically what I'm doing now is I'm just scrubbing these fan blades because they're a little bit dirty. And this is a good time, right now is the best part for you to actually physically inspect each blade. Um, you'll know when a, when, when a blade is about to crack or has issues because during the mold process you'll run your fingers across the, the, the back lead, or in this case the, the, the forward leading edge and you'll feel little little bumps, that's where the, the mold was press injected and those little bumps, if they're down by the lower section of the blade there's a high chance they're going to crack under higher RPM load so I don't try and put a, a huge amount of force, I just my finger just gently tap while spinning you see? And if you, if you hear any issues, or you see any issues, stop doing that immediately and replace the spindle. You can replace these spindles and hubs, you can actually buy these um, on certain websites. And you know, now we've cleaned the, the main blade, we've cleaned the spindle, now we're going to get down to the all-purpose machine oil. Now you can use other oils like WD-40 to do this, however WD-40 is a grease cutter. It is meant to cut through dirt, cut through grease. Uh, cut through grime and so what that ultimately will do is destroy your bearings uh, WD-40 will destroy your bearings you can use some uh, lighter machine oils for example ones oils that you mix in with petrol for, for petrol based uh, uh, lawn mowers and stuff like that you can use that kind of oil I don't suggest you use motor, motor, oil, motor mo engine oil uh, regardless of the weight simply because the additives are designed for uh, 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 friction and the only friction that's in a fan is in the bearings so you really yes granted it would add a little extra long life to your bearings but at the same time it will actually cause your bearings to eat each other because of what's known as cross galvanic action uh, if you don't if you haven't if you don't know what cross galvanic action is uh, basically if you have an aluminum radiator and a copper block see look at that look at that Ugh. If you have a uh, aluminum radiator and a copper block, and you use uh, distilled water or, or any fancy mayhem brand or whatever, you're going to come across uh, uh, an issue where you're going to see the aluminum part particulates in the, the fluid start to corrode the copper because copper and aluminum do not get along, and so you're going to have to have add additives to stop that. Well, you're also going to get that same thing with here because the actual shaft is stainless steel, but your uh, bearings are usually brass. You can get some steel bearings. Um, I, I've actually replaced bearings completely in fans because I found out that I was getting a, a galvanic action with the oils I was using. Uh, and so eventually the oils end up eating the bearing and you'll get this weird knocking noise where the, the spindle isn't spinning like this it's actually rocking side to side while it's spinning which is very very bad because that blade's going to snap and fly off and knock out your eyeball or something so this is the oil i'm using it's a singer all-purpose machine oil again you can get this at your local walmart and it doesn't need much you just need to put a little see you do not need much just enough to lubricate the shaft that's it and then what i tend to do is add a small little drop on the back bearing like so and then we spin and now I lay it flat and then this is where I'll get my tape and of course I put my tape right up there before shooting and it's grown legs and disappeared <laughs> typical uh, all right, so anyway, basically this is where you take your your tape, regardless of what tape it is. Um, here, here's some electrical tape. So we're just going to use some simple electrical tape for now. But uh, you got to understand electrical tape doesn't react well to certain oils. So you pull it tight, and ta-da, you're done. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, take a pair of scissors 
here before I install the fan and cut this excess uh, uh, sticker off. In fact, I'll do that with this little trusty knife of mine. See? There we go. And so you've now just serviced your fan. Of course, at that point, after the oil, you'd put your C-clip back in if you still have one. And then you put the, stick, uh, the sticker back over it. If you have the original foil sticker, put your original foil sticker back over. But you've now successfully uh, uh, serviced your fan. And to make sure she works, I do have a small little fan splitter thing I built ages ago. So we're going to hook that up. I'm then going to grab this small power supply that I've converted into a bench power supply. We're going to take 12 volt. We're going to plug her in. Ta-da! The noise you're hearing is actually from this fan. I've got to fix this fan, but there you go. I'll bring it as close to the microphone as I can. Quiet. And she does move quite a lot of air. There you go. Let me get it in frame. Okay, so you see it? There's the tissue, ready? See? You've just reser successfully reserviced a PC fan. Now, this, 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 this will work for most fans where you can remove the spindle. Um, some fans, some cheaply made fans, uh, I know it's not necessarily Chinese manufacturers, um, I've actually known some Indonesian manufacturers and whatnot. They will put a plastic uh, 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 cap over here so you cannot service the fan. And um, they're a pain in the ass to, to actually, because uh, you've got to take a small Dremel drill and just drill little holes and then take a, a, a pair of fine uh, stainless steel needle tip nose pliers and just break that cap off just to get to the C-clip to take the spindle out. Um, fans, this is why I, I'm not afraid to buy refurbished fans uh, off of eBay. Um, they cost you a fraction of the cost and all you've got to do is have a little bit of know-how and uh, before you know it, uh, you can service practically any fan from anything, from a PlayStation 2 to a Dreamcast to, um, I believe even the N64, later model N64s had a small little fan inside them. Um, anything that has a spinning fan, including this will, this will even work with um, certain graphics cards, uh, certain graphics cards fans. Um, so if your a blower inductor style motor goes out on your older like 8800 GTX graphics card, for example, this will actually work on the older 8800 GTX. I know this because I actually did, did that to an old uh, 8800 GTX graphics card I had that died. Um, but there you go, guys. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section down below. Um, and like I said, I'm not affiliated with any of your products used here today. But um, I know this is not a sponsored video. But I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs down. Again, I greatly appreciate it either way. Uh, so yeah, ta-da! So the next time you get a, a seized up fan, don't just immediately throw it away. Don't just immediately cut the, the Moloch connector and say, oh, now I can connect these other fans and whatnot. Save the fan. You can actually resurrect the fan from the dead. And uh, so yeah, uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, uh, again, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, till then, keep your shots fine, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends.